Welcome back YouTube, welcome back, welcome back to the channel for those that don't know my name is Matthew and this is Matthew Hawker Gaming. So this is going to be a part 2 of continuation of my Hearthstone videos. So basically in part 1 I did the main uh, mode from a magic player's perspective. In today's part we're going to do a continuation, in today's mode we're going to play Battlegrounds. For those that haven't played Battlegrounds before, Battlegrounds is, is Hearthstone's equivalent of an auto chess game. So for those that don't know what an auto chess game is, I'll try and explain what an auto chess game is in a minute. But there's some various other ones that are quite popular as well, this being one of them. There's also Teamfight Tactics from in the Legend, League of Legends universe. There's also the, the, the Dota one called Do Dota Underlords. And there's also Clash Mini on mobile, which is also one I, I'd recommend. I used to play another one as well, I believe it was in the Might of Magic universe, but I think that got, once one of the patches came out, I, did, I stopped enjoying that one. Anyway, so they say we're going to go into a game of, of, of Hearthstone Battlegrounds today. So those that don't know what Battlegrounds is, it's basically, it's like, well, in some ways it's like magic, it's like drafting in magic. You basically have to, you basically have a, in your, on your turn, there's two parts of the game, there's the shop phase, and the combat phase so in the shop phase you're basically it's like drafting in some ways you're drafting you're buying cards from a shop so each card from the shop costs x x money and basically you're trying to make a, a, a composition or a team or whatever you would like to call it and you're trying to beat the opposing players so they're played in eight player games and your aim is to beat the other eight players you do this by buying characters so you buy characters it costs you x it costs you free money and basically they have power and toughness equal just like the normal game or in magic it's it it's the same but basically in this game the the, da the damage heal basically it heals off at the end the minions come back to life each turn so you get everything for their, their turn okay so basically you buy the minions and you're looking at getting triples of, ve of, of various minions because the triples will increase the power of the minion and they do various different things they do various different effect, uh, effects which i'll explain as you go along like the main game there's various other things you can do which you can freeze all the things in the shop to basically give you a chance because you only get so much currency it starts out you get so much currency and then it goes up for each round and it's just like the normal game in that aspect so you can also up the tavern tier there's a number you'll see in the corner which i'll explain when we get into the gameplay to increase the minions in the tavern tier so there's various different tribes of minions in the game and you're trying to build various compositions and basically i'll, I'll explain it as it go along but basically the main thing is that basically the aim is to deal damage to the opponents basically the minions you have no control how however they fight you can place them in an order they will basically attack from left to right your minions will attack it determined, randomly determined who goes first and then basically they'll start attacking but they attack the opposing minions at random and they fight and they basically deal damage to each other and they carries on in that way until there's no uh, no minions left on the side and they deal damage equal to the amount of your tavern tier they're on and whatever tier of the minion anyway we're going to a game and i'll explain it a bit more as we go along anyway it's been a busy week for me. I've been busy. I've been doing quite a few of these videos. Anyway, let's start. Oh, it's seven, seven things. And we get say the new patch has just come out. So there's various different anomalies. So I'll explain the anomalies. The anomalies happen at the start of each game. They have a random effect. And they're lots of different ones because they just released the Hearthstone mini set for the new game. And in celebration of y y Yog Sarong, they've put v these various anomalies into the game. Right, I'm also using a Firestone Deck Tracker. I, I recommend Firestone Deck Tracker anyway. Right, it's also going to tell me. So you have a choice of heroes at the beginning of the game. So basically, the only difference between premium and non-premium on this game, and I'm on premium, by the way, is not very much. And when you say the, having the Battle Pass get effectively for this game gives you access to more characters. So you have a choice of three characters, where normally you'd only have a choice of two. So that's the only difference between premium and unpremium in this game. So it's very free to play friendly, unlike the main game. It's now going, my deck track thing is going to tell me a choice of things. So if you were saying play Carrion or Galakrom, the other ones are D and thing. They got to tier A, but I, since I wasn't offered an A choice tier, I mean, we're going to pick Carriel or Galakrond. Right, let's have a look at them. And uh, let's see. Uh, one minute. All right, Carriel. 
So they basically, some of them have what are called passives and some have actives. So the passive ones trigger regardless when something happens and the active ones you have to pay the coin cost to do. I'm going to have carry all to be honest. These are the achievements I've got for each. One is uh, finishing top four. Oh no, the base one is play the game as the character. Then there's another one for top four. And there's another one for winning. So those are some of the achievements. So the deck tracker is telling me these are the things that aren't in the game. So there's no dragons. None of these. None of these ones. Right. So we can look at it. So this is what I, my app power is. Give two friendly minions plus one plus one. I'll just say hello. Effectively. So I've got to decide which one I want to get. Uh, it's either this one or this one. I can't decide really. Uh, the beast one I quite like. Or the demon. I'll have this one. Right, so this is basically how much it costs to upgrade to tier 2. This is basically to refresh, and this is freeze tablet. I'm going up against this person. So that's a win, because when this dies, I make two card things. These have taunts, which means they have to attack with this. And they basically take three damage, so they take damage equal to my tavern tier, and I have two, two one, uh, tier 1 minions. So that was okay. Uh, this is quite good. Plus one, plus one attack for each friendly minion that died this combat. So this is basically going to die straight away. Then they will be replaced by two torn minions, which will die. Then this will get bigger. So this basically, you have control over the combat in which ways you can order them. So you can put either in this first or this first, but you want this to go first. Anyway, I'm going to give two friendly minions plus one, plus one. And I'll explain a bit more as it go along. Anyway, it's good fun. I've got about 200 plus hours in just this mode alone. So it's good fun. It's quite. It's definitely free to play friendly. I'm like the main mode of the game. I'm definitely going to do other things from a magic player's perspective. I mean, you say you feel this is a bit like drafting in which you can't see what you in theory have to learn and see and be able to adapt to various things and you see. You can see. So this person is going for like demons of such and you can it shows you somewhat what where you know what, what they've been drafting they're various different tribes oh what was the anomaly for this game all oh, right okay so i didn't tell you what the anomaly for this game is it's tavern tier seven so that's special when you start 10x drama so this is basically a longer kind of tier of game so you're building for like the late game so i'm basically just going to keep giving things making things bigger and carry on I want to try and get to tier 7 to show you some of the things. I'm looking at getting another one of the mana sabers for like a thing. And I'm probably building somewhere around beasts. But like none of these are particularly pretty. There's one way you get your beasts bigger when you summon them during combat. That would be quite good. Anyway, you can tell you on the mana tracker. Uh, so it tells me all the beasts and various things in the various tiers by looking through. Anyway, the... the it's a useful deck tracker. It also, if you look in the top, it also tells me my chance of winning and the percentages. Some people may not like that, but I, I like being able to see the numbers. It can tell me when the game is over, and basically it's better to queue up for another one rather than think. I mean, this is like a 100% win. Better for that to die and replace it by two minutes. Yep. This is looking okay. I've yet to have a game where I haven't uh, taken any damage though. Well, like, that's a landmark thing. I don't know loads of people have. I've got more time on the main game anyway. Right. So this is good with undead. So I mean, I'm mean, i just going to keep buying stuff. But I say that's fine. I'm going to crank it up a tier. Uh, rest of game conviction gears. So that's an additional friendly minion. I'll say plus one health. And those things have upgraded at random. So this has what is called Reborn. So Reborn, how Reborn works for those that haven't played the main game. I was like, even if you haven't played the main game, Reborn basically means once the minion dies, it come back, comes back to life, but it only comes back with one health. But since these has taunt, the opposing characters will have to attack this first to get through the things. So we're trying to build up a sequence where we can get this as big as possible. And we're trying to work between a beast or an undead kind of composition. Anyway, 
there's lots of different minion types in the game. Four, five, six, seven. I think it's ten because there's there's only five at a time. Yeah. What are people's favourite auto chests? Do people play other ones like TFT or anything? Oh, let, let me know in the comments section. I haven't played a huge amount of TFT though. Uh, yeah, this, this, this is another good thing. It's got Death Rattle Maker Tortoise thing. That's quite good. This is also quite good against giving Undead bigger. I'll have this one for sure. I don't decide whether I'm going to go for the undead or not. I'll roll, I guess. Alright, it's looking good at the moment. I mean, so those have been, you know, so I did a paper magic draft yesterday to say I'm mainly a magic player. So I drafted the new Worlds of Eldraine set. So I went, I played Black Red. I went 3 0 in that, 2 0, 2 0, 2 0. I think Eldraine's slightly disappointed for me. I don't feel it's as good as the original Eldraine. I don't feel it's a bad set. But like, we've only got five or six weeks to the, the new Ixon set anyway. I'm not expecting much from the Ixon set anyway. The last one was terrible, so obviously it might be quite good. Anyway, I like the dinosaurs. I'm sure my dino commander will get something. My dinos and pirates commander, I've got one of each of those. They've got a couple of huge minions in this. I don't know if I'm getting through. Will my get through. Yes, I've got it. Got it just. And that's York himself as well. York is basically the get the big what is affecting the chaos god in 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 half so rejoice our fire burns bright. Now I have to make a decision I'll probably go for this one. A one-man army. Yeah. I can always sell something if I want something desperately. I'm moving away from the uh, like the this composition and probably going with this. Uh, I'll get rid of this. Uh, I don't know. This is only okay. I'll get rid of this. So if this one gets plus one, plus one for each friendly not paternal knight that died this game, so it gets bigger for the more of them that die. So there lots of there'll be lots of them eventually. So in average battlegrounds, it's probably a twenty-minute, thirty-minute game. This one might be slightly longer because of the increased armor. And the uh, thing lengthens the game somewhat. Some of the anomalies can shorten the game somewhat. Because I think there was one that started everyone at about half health I played yesterday. And that went was quite quick. Anyway, let's see if we can get to Tavern Tier 7. We can show you some of the big things at Tavern Tier 7. I don't remember getting to... Oh, so this is a fellow undead player. So obviously it benefits me if they die. Because you're drafting from a shared pool of cards. There are only so many of them X minion in the pool and basically well, once they die it goes back into the shared pool so basically they'll undead will go back and I can hopefully get my the lion's share of them. I haven't lost the round anyway. So let's see how we can do. So they you know, aim for top four as always but like uh, winning is obviously better. Alright that's going to be our first triple so I'm going to show you how the triple works. Okay, so you basically, they basically combine just to give you one, so it frees up spots in your composition. Then you get a tier minion. I'm, I can technically upgrade in between. I'll go up a tier as well. Oh, you can't do it in between. Okay, after friendly beast dies, that makes my thing, the things bigger in the tavern. Then I'll upgrade. Uh, health, I feel, is better than that. 
get off. I think I can sell these to be honest, they're not like useful old balls, I bet they didn't mean to do that. Oh, sorry for that. Uh, yeah, I, I mucked that up, I made a mistake. Okay, let's get rid of that. I feel that was bad. Anyway, we've got 10 to spend next time. I mean, say, hope you're enjoying the, co the, 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 the the content. I'm, I'm trying to get used to how much commentary to do on these style of videos. I need to be able to do something concentrate on the game as well, but, like, it's not that concentration compared to some of the games. This is looking like a 50% off. The free, yeah, that's good. A draw. Right, so let's go on to the next round. So far we're doing good? Okay, so I'm looking like I've been going for it. Uh, what's this one do? That's a Naga, I don't want uh... I want Undead. Oh, that goes well with my other beasts, it's basically when this dies it makes two beasts. It's not amazing, but like, it's okay. And the time as you see on the right hand corner, it gets up progressively higher and higher depending on which round you're in. The later rounds you have like nearly up to a minute in between the rounds. So I'm going against the person in second, which is Yorg. I've played against him earlier. He's playing Demon, so you can see what Tavern Tier he's on. He's on Tavern Tier 4. I'm at me at mere Tavern Tier 3, but like we'll see what happens. He basically is dealing lots of damage. He dealt 15 damage to someone in one round and 5 damage in the other round. I don't feel he's... T uh, yeah, actually, I think I'm the last player to deal him damage, probably. Right, so the people down the bottom have got 11 health, 21 health, 20s. I don't see how this person's got zero, or maybe they gave up or something. I, I, I feel the, the thing isn't working correctly. I'm not sure. Right, let's see how we go. Number one, huh? Nice work. Nice work. So before I recorded this video, I also did another one, basically. I did a led video for Legends of Green Terror from a Magic player's perspective. If you enjoy this one, you may enjoy that one as well. I also did a prior video for the Hearthstone, which is my, which is about the more traditional game, which you might also want to check out if you haven't seen that part as well. I'll link them all in a playlist. All right, that's my first set of damage. I take seven damage, so it basically just knocks my armor down. It's basically like having additional health in the main game. There's not a huge amount. All right, let's see what I can do. Not looking as good now, but like we'll see what happens. I don't think I've hit anything for like two to three turns, but I haven't taken much damage. I mean, currently in second. It's worth bearing in mind you can play uh, you can play uh, Hearthstone either like this or Battlebones. You can play it on both. You can play it on either either desktop or mobiles, depending on what you want. And you say there's not. It's not bad to play on either. It depends what you're in the mood for or what, 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 if you're traveling or not. So you can play on either. 
I think sometimes this client's a bit unstable, though. I'm technically on the beta branch, but like it, I sometimes have it crash occasionally, and it's like there's not really much you can do about it. I've been playing. I've been playing Battlegrounds since it came out. I've been playing the main game since Savers of War Doom, which was the same with Zephyrus in it. He was the first legendary crafted in the game. The first deck I played was the Battle Cry Shaman. The second deck I played was the Murloc Paladin, which is probably still my favourite in the game even to this day. Oh, that's a, you see that reaction, it basically got a load of extra health and it basically only survived because it got the additional health. Anyway, it tells me my win percentage was only 4% anyway, so I don't have anything to think by it. Right, I feel these beasts can probably go. I'll just put this into the pot. I'll put that into the pot. I'm tempted to go up and tap into it. Let's go up and tap into it. Additional health, yes please. So I'm basically looking at buying two minions if I can. I'll sell that because it doesn't really do anything at that point. Uh, not looking great. I have something I can play. That's pretty good. Uh, what do I want to get rid of for that? I feel that guy's not actually that good. Love this. Right, let's carry on. Still in second. I've taken a bit of damage. I've lost more than half my armor, but we'll carry on going. Two people have now been eliminated. So people, for people that haven't seen the channel before, I also do a lot of other content. I do, I do mainly, vid I do some vi video game content. My last video game video I did was about my collection, my top 25 most expensive games. I also do various MTG Commander, mainly Commander, and I own my various death series. They're all going to be linked in the playlist. And I do various, uh, so I did, I also did a pack opening recently, I did a Wilds of Eldraine pack opening. I mean, if you, I'll link them all in the playlist, if you want to check out some of my other videos, please feel free. Alright, let's carry on. Alright. That's quite a good one. So this gives an undead reborn at the beginning of combat. This also makes the other undead bigger. So then I sell this back. It gives me another go in the shop. Alright, so what I mean, I can sell this and get another one or I can sell this. I feel that's probably better to have. And this will give another undead reborn, so this is where I got reborn and reborn. I, I'm not quite sure how it goes, I think it goes to one of the other ones that hasn't got it. So it's either going to be one of these three, so even my 1818, or one of these. We'll see how it goes. You can adjust the way, the your composition, you can change the order of the minions when there's some other games like Clash Mini, you can't change the order of the minion once it's placed on the, on the board. Clash Mini is also a good game, I recommend that, that's mobile only at the moment. And then there's going to be Arc Light Rumble, which is coming to mobile as well. That's also in the Warcraft universe as well. I don't know how that one's going to, what that one's going to be like. If, I don't think it's going to be like Battlegrounds for sure, that it's just another another game.
Let's keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm using. Uh, I'm, using I'm recording this on Streamlabs desktops for those that don't, uh, haven't used the software. I recommend it. It's going to be quite easy to use. Okay, so I'm going to explain a couple of things. So these menu minions have venomous. So this basically basically will kill anything it attacks, but it only kills the first one. It used to be venomous will kill anything and carry on going, but they, they it's been changed. All right, so I lost to Yorg. I beat him in the fire round. I take nine damage. Sure. So that's how venomous works. Anyway, it's like toxic thing. We'll call we'll call that 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 All right. I'm gonna have another one. Keep on going. <laughs> Right, that's uh, another triple. That's all right. We'll have a triple. So I'll play that. And worst case scenario, if it's no. Okay, so this is Avenge Free. So the Avenge is basically tr is a trigger to thing. So it's when you, you three minions die, your undead have plus one attack for the rest of the game. They gain it wherever they are. So they can they don't need to be on the board. Then I'm gonna buff something. Buff the things. It's random what they buff. All right, we carry on. So we're on Tavern Tier 4 now. We're, so some people probably... Let's see how the other people are doing. Let's have a look. This is Shovel Knight. I, lo I like Shovel Knight. I actually got that recently. I haven't played Shovel Knight. Uh, so I, I, no, actually, I did play, I've played once, but I haven't played much of it. I enjoyed what I played. I'll play it some more some point. Lilac Squid. Marlena. That's me. Ghost Dog. That was a random name generator, so I, I, I found it, and as I used it, and I was like, oh, that's quite cool, I'll keep that. And Preacher 999. Right, so the, the, this is looking like it was alright. I don't know. I was imagine I'll probably get top 4, but I'm not 100% on it. Given the things, Reborn's quite good. The Reborn, the, these gnolls get quite large, rot-eyed gnolls, and then they're all undead. So they all get the benefits from this, all that. That thing is huge though. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, this is 100% awesome. I thought it did help the tracker. It's one of our live or not, and apparently it's a 43% charge. It was like 10, what? 13, wow. I'm on one, I'll take it. Just in that. Alright, trying to survive. Alright, I'm trying to survive. Which one's right for you? Ah, oh, that's the null. Oh no, I don't have room for the null. Uh... I might just keep it and not play it. I think I want to keep all this stuff I have on the board. Going against the uh, sort of fact player, which is Max. All right, let's see how we do. I, I'm not sure this is going very well now. It's gone pear shaped quite quickly. Anyway, I will see how it goes. What other TCGs do people play? People are you people? Have people tried various other digital TCGs? Has any have people played like stuff like Law Corner in paper? That's one I haven't played. I mean, that's available digitally on some tabletop kind of simulator thing. Good I don't know. I might try it digitally. I've played most of the games in what? Well, I've played most of things in paper as well. Although not collecting. This is 100% more awesome to the big. 
so we'll play for it anyway and see how it goes. Oh, there's Battlegrounds stream, uh, Battlegrounds people on YouTube. So there, there are various people that do Battlegrounds content on YouTube. I'd recommend people. There's Celicia. She's also she's quite good, and she does mainly Battlegrounds now. She d did play the main game, and we say I've made six plays, so I got something equivalent achievement on the pass, which is not great. Anyway, Celicia does uh, content for the this Battlegrounds. On YouTube, I would recommend checking her out. And there's also Kriparin. He does he, he does mainly Battlegrounds now as well. He used to do a lot of other stuff, and he did stuff for the main game. But he mainly does Battlegrounds now. So those are two people I, I would check out on YouTube. If you want to learn a bit more about the game, I would say they more or less do the exclusively now. I will show you a bit about the the pass and some of the things. Well, I've done, I've done quite a few levels anyway. Those are the things I've done. And, so that it, and you can up... Play basically, I've got to show you my season rewards. There's quite a few, so basically, I'll show you that. Say so that every season of Battlegrounds, you get a pause. There are various different things on it for cosmetics. Those are my things. So those are two skins I've just unlocked. They're basically the thing, and I've got nine missions in the bank. Whereas, so most of the missions on this game are quite threatening because they're not that difficult to do. So I've got nine missions in the bank, which means when you have still have free quests and you haven't done one and they basically all the remaining ones just go into the bank and you can do them all in one play session if you're enough the pass isn't too demanding they are i think it's 40 levels i have a, what, a quarter for it uh, let's have a look so there's all the the things oh yeah, yeah only 40 levels so they're basically most of them the things on it are cosmetic there's no things that benefit you in any way or form. They're all just cosmetic, they're just a way to support the developer. I mean, the Battlegrounds pass isn't very much, and it's like, I think it's like, was it 15 or something, even a pound sterling? All right, thanks very much for watching, and like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell notification, and tell me when when, when, when I up, upload videos. I mean, you say those have been watching the, uh, watch the main thing when I was doing Shadow Priest. Okay, so quick update on Shadow Priest. My Shadow Priest deck is been doing quite well. When I played the video, I was doing quite well. I had about a 60% win record. Now I'm I'm between Diamond 3 and Diamond 2. I'm on the way, road to Legend. I can't haven't quite got there yet. I've basically though I've changed deck. I haven't stopped. I've stopped. I haven't stopped playing Shadow Priest, but I'm not playing it as much now. I've gone on to Discard Warlock. I think Discard Warlock is very, very good at the moment, and some of those cards are probably going to get banned shortly. So I play Discard Warlock when you can. Anyway, I might show you some games from that at some point. Alright, thanks very much for watching. See you again soon. Bye.